<laughs> hey, I'm Shay, and welcome back to Books with Shay. Sorry for the weird lighting, I'm in the car. LT and I are working, and so I'm not gonna be able to get too much of a clip right now, but I wanted to let you guys know, because I know I do my tea thing every morning, that this morning I was in the mood for some coffee, some Starbucks, so I'm actually gonna go get that instead right now, and the tea for today I think was caffeine free, so I'll have that later in the day, but don't worry, I will have it. I know it's a part of our routine, so I feel like I'm letting you down if I don't have it. But, uh, yeah, so we're gonna um, get some work done and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. This is my current view. I got my weighted blanket and Harry Potter ASMR happening over there. And a hot husband, trademark, bringing me a unicorn mug full of. Full of my circles. <laughs> You're working hard, huh? Uh -huh. Bring me a unicorn mug full of pomegranate tea. You can set it on the table, please. Thanks, husband. Okay, so I haven't tried this yet, but I wanted to show you guys what a pretty color this is. I don't know if you can tell, really, it looks a little bit brown in the lens, but it's like a wine-colored, like a deep wine burgundy. And it's really beautiful. Okay, I guess I'm going to actually drink it now. All right, so I am checking in to do a update with my reading, and then we're also going to do the nightly book gift it's kind of like a bookish advent calendar i don't know so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do way to bear and so first let me talk about my reading so for reading today i was reading we met in december which you guys have seen me reading since we came back from seeing christmas lights i started it in the car then and then i've been just taking my time to get through this this was a three out of five star read for me it was okay so i will say i really liked the kind of vibe of this it was a very laid back book that starts in December goes through the whole year 
when the kind of significant things in the book happen in December. So in the first December and then the second December and then there's an additional December. And so December is a big month in this and even though it took place throughout the year it did feel Christmassy and give me very warm cozy London vibes and I love that. London is one of my favorite places in the world so I liked that about this especially because I partially read it partially listened to the audiobook and the narrator was really good and had a beautiful British accent and so listening to it definitely got me in that mood and in that space but what I will say about this is I am the type of romance contemporary romance reader that likes there to be I, I want my romance reads to be like a fireworks show so when you go to a fireworks show and you first sit down there are a few small fireworks and then it builds and there are a few bigger fireworks and it builds and there are a few bigger fireworks until you get to the finale where they set off all the best things they have and it has this huge fireworks show at the end versus it being like a stick of dynamite where you light the fuse and it burns at the exact same place until it gets to the actual stick of dynamite and then it all explodes really big at the end. That's not my preference for romance reads and this was definitely a stick of dynamite versus a fireworks show and so the beginning they light the fuse and then there are literally like 350 pages of the fuse burning and then there's an explosion at the end and the payoff of the explosion didn't match the anticipation of the fuse for me and so the romance is definitely not like if you're looking to read something for the romance this is not what I would pick up. I did like like hearing about the places in London. I liked the way things were described. There were some very interesting relationships in here between housemates and or flatmates because they're in <laughs> England but <laughs> between people who are sharing space between friends between mother and daughter between grandmother and daughter there are some cool relational dynamics here but the ro the romance was not it was not it for me in this so this was probably more like a two and a half 2.75 star read for me but I'm gonna round it up to three because I liked the way it made me feel even if the story felt almost kind of boring and like a waste of my reading time if I because I have so many other things that I really want to read and this was just like like <laughs> plot. so it was fine I liked it I just didn't love it mostly because it's not my style so don't let that stop you from picking it up if you are a fan of a super slow burn if you want to see that fuse lit in the beginning and burn all the way slowly until the end where you get the explosion then this would be a good book for you to pick up but if you're like me that likes fireworks at the beginning that are getting bigger and bigger and bigger until you get to a finale this ain't it sis okay so we're gonna <laughs> LT's looking at me like what happened to my wife so I am going to go ahead and request that my specialist assistant bring me the books that I have to choose from no Luna like if any of you guys have a Dane or have ever been around Danes they have very floppy jowls and they are they can be very slobbery and she is not a very slobbery dog in general but as soon as she drinks water it's just like she's a faucet and it is gross when she comes up and just drips all over my leg hey I need you to <laughs> now we're going to pick again so he wrapped an additional one in the paper that I used to unwrap yesterday because he wanted me to have the same three choices. He's like all about the aesthetic as well. So I'm going to go with the middle one again. I picked middle last time, but it's different wrapping that I chose. So I'm gonna do that. May I hand you this as well? So this is thin. That's the first thing I noticed about this is that it is a pretty thin book. It is hardback. So before I had a little bit of a basis of guessing based on the fact that we were going to Barnes and Noble to pick out the books and I knew kind of the selection at the Barnes and Nobles in our area. So I could say he's probably going in the direction of, you know, insert thing here. And now a lot like he got a couple of big Amazon boxes in in the last couple of days, which praise the Lord, because it's so much cheaper to order books on Amazon number one but number two the selection is infinitely wider so now I have no idea like I don't know what what all Amazon carries or what it could be so the thin thinner like profile of this makes me think maybe it is YA I'm gonna go with fantasy <laughs> that's, has that been my guess every day sometimes I guess adult fantasy and I've gotten a manga I don't think this is manga or a graphic novel or anything it's not that thin and it's 
haul. So yeah, I'm gonna go with YA Fantasy. Yeah, that's all I got. Let's 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 open it up and see. How do you feel about this one? Uh, honestly, I don't even remember which one that is at this point. Okay, so because but I feel about the same. All three of them are like. Ah. Okay, so he just he feels the the exact. I'll parrot the exact motion that he just made, which was. <laughs> You know, Good. exactly that. So, so he doesn't know how he feels about these. He doesn't know what I'm opening though because he wrapped them in advance and doesn't remember which is which. So he says he feels similarly about all of these, but he doesn't know which one I'm opening. You know what I just thought of? Because he's ordering these on Amazon. So the reason that when it's a hardcover, I guess that it's not a contemporary or chiclet or romance or anything is because it's you're like really hard pressed to find a romance or women's fiction or chiclet book in our Barnes and Noble that is hard bound. They're all paperbacks. But because you're ordering them on Amazon, you could be getting hardcover romances. And this is thin, so it could be. I'm gonna go with YA Fantasy because I, that feels safer to me. Okay, so we're looking at a mustard yellow hardcover under the dust jacket and just regular pages. There's no like spring or special edition like we've had the last couple of times, which makes it even harder to guess because this could be anything. It looks really pretty. This is what I can see, but I have not a clue. Maybe the Guinevere Deception? I don't know. Yeah! Awesome! That, I, wow. Okay, so I'm- Good call. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think I remember the Guinevere Deception being purple, but oh man. It's the hard thing about this, it's a hard knock life for me because like I'm getting so many books and I can't decide what I want to read. <laughs> I guess it is kind of purple. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so, oh man. Okay, I'm so excited. So number one, I was right. This is YA fantasy and it is just stunning. Look at it. I haven't wed, I have wed. I have not wed. <laughs> I haven't read anything by Kirsten White before but Boston from oh I do not know her channel name off the top of my head Boston reads Boston loves books Boston <laughs> you guys know Boston I'll link her down below this is Boston's like favorite book of the year I'm pretty sure it is a King Arthur retelling I'm so excited about this so I've heard amazing things and I really want to read it because I've heard such great thing, great things that I love the King Arthur Knights of the Round Table kind of storyline and so I feel like it's gonna be so good in this. I just can't wait. And it looks kind of short. Maybe these are thin pages but it is YA. Yeah it's only like 330 pages so this is like, I just read the romance I just read is longer than this. Oh I feel like I just want to start this. It does not fit anything for the themes of what I'm reading in December but I want to start it anyway. Guys look at it. Look! Okay, wow. Did you think you had done this well? No? You didn't know? Mm -mm. I just... So this is the first book in the Camelot Rise trilogy. And guys, I am so happy. I'm very happy about this. So I am going to go ahead and move on to doing Word of Air, but I... Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so... Just, I love it. Do any of you guys get new books and you just like rub, like rub the front of them, like the smooth cover and are like, I love this. Like I just love the way a new book feels and smells. It's just, I'm like a book addict. You guys send help. Okay, <laughs> so let's go do Where to Bear. Sit down while you're looking for Where to Bear because it's going to take you a minute. Okay, so I'm off to the races to look for Where to Bear, and today we are not... It's not necessarily in this room. This motion was supposed to tell you that. So today it's not necessarily in this room, and so I'm gonna do a quick sweep of this room, but I'm guessing because this is the first day that it kind of didn't have to be in here for a while, that it's probably not in here. So I'll do a quick sweep, and then let's go upstairs. <laughs> okay, so because there is construction happening in this house, there are a lot of random holes, and recently we had to have a fan, like the fan that goes in your bathroom, put into the bathroom, and so there is a hole in the wall in the hallway that was made in order for them to be able to access the electrical to get to the fan. And because I know that LT's MO is to not put things at eye level, I walked around the entire upstairs first looking above eye level, which is the only reason, and I do mean the only reason, that I found this bear up here in the hole in the wall. Like, how, I don't even, okay, so on my tiptoes, 
I'm right about at the hole, so I'm scared to knock him back in there. There we go. So I have found where the bear, he's talking about, I'm gonna sit here because it's gonna take you a while. Like, psh, I'm the champ, I'm the reigning champion of where to bear. It's funny, I'm the only person playing, so I, I guess I have to be the champ. So I guess I'm going to eat the bear with LT and then we'll see you guys tomorrow. Sorry for the shorter vlog today, but you guys had a super long vlog yesterday, so today was more low-key and we did a lot more work today than chilling out doing fun things and you guys probably don't want to just hang out with us at work. So yeah, this is, this is gonna be the end of this vlog. We're gonna eat the bear and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm, I'm Booyah, that's what I am. Oh, uh, okay, I like Booyah. <laughs> I found Booyah, <laughs> okay. Entertaining ways to eat something. That's true. Say bye. Bye.